Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Just Go with Amreen. Today something very unique is happening, something I've never done before in my life and that is my first solo travel. I'm doing my first solo travel to Serbia and now I'm at the airport just heading towards the gate. The boarding starts right now <laughs> and I'm super far from the gates. Before we get started, I have a very exciting announcement. I am putting together my very first bespoke tour and it is going to be in Serbia. It is a six night, seven day tour and we are going to be hitting all the unexplored, non-commercial, untouched beauty of this gorgeous country. If you are interested in going on this tour with me, then please click on the link down below and sign up. Now back to the vlog. So before I board, I just quickly tell you, it was very smooth. The check-in was nothing like when I went to Georgia in March. It was nothing like that. It was very smooth. They didn't need any documents. All they needed was to see my vaccination uh, certificate or provide a PCR negative PCR result in the taken in the last 48 hours. I had both. I just hope, fingers crossed, that everything just keeps going as smoothly as this one in Belgrade when I land as well. Finally, oh wow, they are boarding, man. And there's no queue. Apparently the flight is full. Time to go. Okay, so we are in the plane. And by the way, it's totally full. I'm literally at the last seat. <laughs> All right, Serbia, here I come. I'm flying with Fly Dubai and the duration from Dubai to Belgrade is approximately six hours. I paid for economy seat, which comes with a meal, but the leg room is terrible. So if you're a tall person, good luck. What I like about Fly Dubai is that you also have the option to purchase more food and beverage if you, you know, get hungry or whatever during the flight. Uh, I paid approximately $380 for my ticket. Ah, uh, we are here already. Welcome to Serbia. So as soon as I land anywhere in the world, I always get a SIM card first and I bought one today at the airport for my iPhone uh, so that I can use Google Maps and things like that. It costed me 5 euros and I get about 10 GB for 2 weeks and unlimited local minutes. So I'm meeting my driver here. I booked the airport transfers one way for about 20 euros from the airport to the city center. And I booked it through a company called Regio Taxi and I will leave the link to this down below in the description box for you to check oh, okay. it out. Welcome to Serbia, baby! <laughs> masks off! <laughs> Alright, so there are no masks. Maskless country is Serbia. I'm so happy. Although I think you need to wear them when you are sitting in a cab or a bus. So I'm here and the weather is not that cold as I was afraid it would be. It's like 14 degrees, I think, if I'm not wrong. Is it 14 degrees? Yes. Yes, it is. So, I'm wearing a coat and it's pretty warm. It's quite sunny. So, it's nice. Good weather. Okay, so here's the deal. The driver just dropped me to my street which is this lovely street right behind me and ahead. You can't bring your cars here, so I have to walk. My bags are down there. <laughs> and I have to I have to figure out where I'm staying because uh, I don't know. I can walk either there or there. I'm right in the center and I have to figure out where my accommodation is and I have to carry them myself. So I'm going to put the camera away for five minutes and figure out where I'm going to stay. Okay. <sighs> After lugging that around for I don't know how many meters, 100 meters, kilometers, etc., we are here. Ah, oh, there. Okay. <sighs> old lady. If Fizzy was here, he would be like, come on, old lady. So that's where I'm staying. And this entire area has like a beer garden a restaurant, bars, there's a wine shop there. I mean, 
I couldn't be staying in a better spot, isn't it? <laughs> I'm thinking that I'll just grab something to eat right here because I am famished. Just got done with lunch. Lunch? It's like almost 6 p.m. here, so I guess it was lunch and dinner combined together. So now I am just headed to do two things. The iPhone that I'm using, not the one I'm filming with, but the other one that I'm using is so old that it cannot download Google Maps. So I'm going to buy one more SIM card right now, and after that, I have to exchange currency because I was told that people can take euros here but when I got to the airport the woman told me like no they will only take Serbian dinar which is their currency here so I am here in exchange right now and I'm carrying euros so I'm going to be exchanging most of it I exchanged euros to Serbian dinar I got 3,510 3, Serbian dinar for 30 euros so I'm no expert on solo travel. This is my first ever of the many that are about to come in my life. But I was, sh I just wanted to make sure that I'm staying in a place which is surrounded by people either on like a main street, like a main square or in a place like this, which is surrounded by so many pubs and restaurants that there is no way that you will not find people here in the evening when you're coming back to your um, accommodation. So yeah, that was the idea about staying in this place. Worked out perfectly. So it's starting to get cooler, much cooler now. It was 14 degrees when I landed and obviously the sun was out and now I have no idea what it is, but it definitely seems like 10 degrees. So I'm heading back to my room, but before that I'm going to walk through one of the famous streets here. It's a pedestrian street, it's called Skardilia. That's all from me for today. If you guys like this vlog, give me a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming vlogs. The Serbian journey shall continue. But for now, cheers guys. Bye. Alright, so my hair is stuck. Ugh. Again. I'm, I'm just epic. I left all my currency in the room. I was only carrying 30 euros. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Okay, let's do it.